on the equipment side of it, we have added, um, started with just uh, light bar technology several years ago, and then from that we've added the um, auto steer system, and then we've added swath control to our sprayer and planter. And um, we've noticed, we started noticing a benefit from that just from the first time we used it, just from, uh, you know, it was easier to watch the light bar and it's easier for the, the tractor and sprayer to steer itself, and it was a lot more accurate than what we could manually especially when you're running nighttime operations or in low visibility and dust and stuff like that just made things a lot to, a lot a lot easier on us there like we're this is actually this is our first year with swath control so we're we're uh, still trying to figure out that exactly as far as a return i know there's a return especially on our planter as far as not over over uh, planning not double planning and um saving the seed cost and also increasing yields where we don't double up the populations and stuff like that yeah, yeah, and so. and so um, we're, we're expecting I know we're expecting to see uh, seed savings initially where we're not doubling up the seed on the end rows and um, the majority of fields we farm they're not square they're not flat they're all irregular shape with 14 corners in them and everything else <laughs> and uh, so we're, we're expecting to see a seed savings from that and but the biggest benefit i think from the swat control at the planter is going to be is where we have been used to doubling the seed population we're no longer going to be doubling up and we should see higher yields in the areas where we uh, traditionally don't because of higher populations so i think there's going to be a the biggest benefit in my opinion is just the uh, the higher yields where we usually have been doubling populations the, the the first way we figured it out was when we put the the, um, the light bar in our sprayer we um, we had, we noticed an initial chemical savings from that mostly because we figured up how many acres we had to spray bought the chemicals and then we got done we're like hmm we got more left over than we thought we would and then we got to notice an, a certain percent savings from that but the light bar guidance is the, the easiest thing to get into and uh, the price of a light bar, they've, they've really come down in price from what they used to be. And you can about get a, a good quality light bar for about the same money as a foam marker. So to us, it was kind of a, a kind of a no-brainer. It it's easier to watch the light bar than it is trying to chase a ball of foam out in the field with the wind blowing and stuff like that. So um, uh, I, would, I definitely would start with that. And then once you got comfortable with that, kind of ease into whatever else you kind of felt with. or or whatever you buy initially, go ahead and um, buy something you can add to it. Don't get something that you're you're limited to a light bar only. Get something you can kind of plug and play with something else would be kind of my suggestion with that.